Joe Crane joined the Navy four months after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Only 15 years old, he convinced his parents to sign a form saying he was 17, the legal age to join the Navy. Trained as a coxswain, Crane piloted Higgins boats shuttling troops ashore to Omaha Beach on D-Day. The worst we had it was the invasion of Normandy. When we hit the beach there, they opened up on us with everything they had with the vengeance. The beach and the water was ever bit as cluttered up with bodies of blood and guts that you could think of. I was so preoccupied with handling my boat because we were we were making a landing in the biggest, roughest sea that I had ever made a landing in. So I had my hands full. I didn't have time to dwell on what was going on up the beach or down the beach or anything like that. I was fully occupied with trying to keep my boat straight, get it unloaded, get backed out and turned around in that surf and get out of there. And all of the time that I was on the Henrico, we lost one boat. We lost a boat in the invasion of Normandy trying to turn around in that surf and he got crossways in the trough and it rolled him over. We lost one man. The other three made it back to the ship. Little went as planned during the invasion of Normandy. Weather conditions were not ideal, and the Allied troops encountered heavier resistance than anticipated. The first wave hit, the second wave hit at six minutes after, and the third wave hit. The first two waves mostly were wiped out on that beach. By the time we hit, they was beginning to get a foothold. After we got away from there and went back to the ship and unloaded the casualties we had and got a load of supplies, and by the time we went back, we landed on a different place of the beach, but there wasn't any gunfire then, so they had that cliff secured. That was probably two hours and a half later. That was the roughest, most intense that I ever saw it. Crane and the USS Henrico returned to England with the wounded from Omaha Beach before sailing back to aid in the liberation of southern France. He eventually transited to the Pacific, where he participated in the massive amphibious assault on Okinawa on April 1st, 1945. 